execution stage failure, delay in mobilization of vendor, wrong selection of incapable vendor, contextual misunderstanding, wrong execution methodology. Okay, because some big projects, you people also know these things. Then we need to finalize the uh, installation methodology or the method statement, and it has to be vetted through the uh, client or consultant. Okay, and based on that only you can execute in the uh, field so maybe that methodology is not proper okay and then again it is time taking time then again go to the client or consultant need to approval stage and this and that some of the wrong execution happened maybe inside then there is a rework so delay in another is delay in preparation of shop drawing like hbc you people know that's hbc and the firefighting sometimes firefighting this locations of the sprinkler and all uh, sometimes you have to prepare all the shop drawing from the vendor who is doing the job in the ground level okay sometimes they need to prepare the shop drawing then shop drawing go to the um, uh, this app uh, going to the for client or consultant or the main contractor for approval purpose so it may take some time sometimes if uh, the, they don't have a proper or sufficient manpower in the design team so poor workmanship so incompetent superv supervisors you know vendor sub vendor payment delay that is the biggest challenge you people maybe who are now in the working uh, in the construction industry you know, realize these things that sometimes the delay in the vendor payment so or subcontractor it is not only impact one project it will impact in the multiple projects also okay liaisoning stage you know the liaisoning stage okay there is a who is dealing the government officials for uh, this part uh, for licensing cost part Delay to submit application to the document to the government officials, misunderstanding between both parties, poor relationship because licensing team has to have in the good relationship with the government officials. Delay in timely negotiation. So these are the reason why project is not completed in time. Okay, between the trades coordination between the trades. Yes, civil and MEP. Yes, exactly, exactly, perfect, hundred percent. Aja. Exactly, because I have, I have, yes, uh, that is actually, uh, it's a separate, some of the slides is there in my, uh, this model, uh, MEP project management model. So here I am not showing these things. Uh, I have, I have lots of struggle in this part, civil and MEP. Okay. The civil people think that uh, I only take care of the civil activity. MEP people think that I only take care of the MEP activity. That is sometimes a big clash happened. <laughs> So everybody face that thing right good next next what i'm telling the tender stage misunderstanding i need to want to uh, elaborate something okay what is the tender stage uh, misunderstanding not able to realize the actual concept of the project due to incompetency not able to understand the drawing tender clauses lack of technical evaluation okay these are the things so sometimes tender team submitted commercial and technical bid by doing simply copy paste from previous name same type of job and quoted lower rates okay they may not realize the type and the size of the project due to lack of proper survey it is something happening if you uh think through in your previous project sometimes it was if you, you will find i i have realized this i have realized this one project in airport okay there was a one package name is triturator i don't know how many people you heard this name heard this package triturator okay that was there mentioned in the contract document but this tender team they have not not uh, have uh, gone through properly and they may not known that system basically later stage when it will come that there is a huge uh, cost impact was there because they have not considered that particular package value in their budget okay so it was gone negative so it was happening sometimes so tender team may not gone through the tender drawing in details due to hurry to submit the bid quickly okay inexperienced team sometimes deal those drawings and contract teams uh, contract terms and conditions which may become boomerang and cause a huge negative impact during the execution another point if tender team not gone through each and every available technical specification then may missed out some packages in epc and design build projects in later stage contractor may bear the additional cost